Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can summarize non-adjacent rows. So in this example, what I want to do is I want to add up all the quoted hours for these jobs. So basically, I want to add up all these rows, which are not next to each other, like so. And then I want to do the same for planned and same for actual all the way down. Now, there's only four jobs listed there, but there could be 400 jobs. I could use the sum function for some of the range using a comma between or a plus between, but there's a very clunky way of doing it. So what I want to use is a sum if function, and I've got a little table over here to let me do that. But before I start, I want to create some named ranges. And the first one is going to be column F. Clicking on column F, I'm going to call that status. Pressing enter to name it. And then these need to be called fix one. Now, you can't have a space or fix, fix underscore one I'll have to do because otherwise it'll go to a cell reference. Press enter on that one. And then same for that, fix underscore two, enter, fix that one, fix three, fix underscore three, press enter. So those are all named. It tells you the names in there. So you've got one, two, three in status. I also want to name this little list. This is so I don't really have to mess about with fellow signs. List, call it list, press enter. Right, so the sum if function, starting in underneath fix one in this table, is equal sum if, open the bracket. The help comes up there. What's the range? Well, I want you to look down status, status, comma, when you find what's in list, so I could click on that, but I'm just going to put list because that is the name and it'll look at that first line and then the next line it'll look at plan, then actual. So I'll put list there. So look at list, comma, and then when you find it, I want to add up fix one. So fix underscore one. Close the bracket, click the tick, comes back with 10. So we've got two, four, eight, ten. I changed that one to four as well. That should change to 12, which is good. Now, if I pull that down, the formula should just look across because it's looking at this list. So there are six planned. So let's go for planned. 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.56. So that's working. That's working. So I do the same now for fixed two so it's equals sum if open bracket look down status comma look at the list comma and then add up fix underscore two in this one close that bracket click the tick and then the next one is the same equals sum if open the bracket look down status comma, look at the list, comma, and then add up what's in fixed three. Close the bracket, click the tick, highlight those two, pull those two down, and that'll work. So now if I create some more data, because this is a named range, if I type some figures in there, so that's on 12. If I type two, that goes up to 14. If I have two, 15, two, uh, oops, wrong way. Two. Just checking that that's picking it up. So they all moved and they all added it up because it's looking down the whole column all the way to the bottom. So that's just a, a different way of adding up or summarizing non adjacent rows in LibreOffice Calc. So hopefully this little video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.